cortege carrying Pope Paul's body begins the short journey to St. Peter's Basilica. Outside the gates of his 17th century summer palace, the residents of Castel Gandolfo have been waiting patiently for some hours. They watch respectfully as the hearse moves down the driveway. Over 100,000 have filed past his body in the last few days. The cortege is flanked by 40 police outriders, the roads lined with local police and carabinieri. As the cortege drove along the modern Appian Way to Rome, large crowds lined the route. Some waved, some clapped, others held high pictures of Pope Paul. They entered Rome itself through the ancient walls. The journey chosen was along the valley of oil and wine with a view to the sea. They stopped at the Church of St. John Lateran for a brief service of prayers for the dead. As Bishop of Rome, this was the Pope's cathedral. It was here that Pope Paul attended a requiem mass for his great friend, the former Premier Aldo Moro, murdered by the Red Brigades. As the cortege left, the crowd clapped, the traditional way of saying, you are always with us. Then they passed the Colosseum where the first Christian martyrs were slain. The journey also took them by the imperial forums and across the Tiber towards St. Peter's Basilica. At St. Peter's, a crowd of 35,000 people had gathered, the singing provided by the choir of the Sistine Chapel. The cortege was met by the College of Cardinals and by the government representative, Senor Fanfani, President of the Senate. The coffin, made of oak and cedar and lined with lead, was carried on the shoulders of 12 pallbearers. On the advice of doctors, the body had been put in the coffin because of deterioration, which means that today's mourners were the last to see Pope Paul. The lying in state will last for three days until the solemn requiem mass on Saturday. The service is expected to be attended by religious and political leaders from around the world. This is Gavin Hewitt in Rome.